Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you a setup video of how I've set up my planner for 2024. You can see a little stack right here and the reason why I'm starting off with this is to show you the progression of my planning. I started doing a bullet journal style book in 2021 with just a dot grid book from Walmart and I fell in love with it and decided to carry it on and in 2022 I used an A5 Stalogy in this Moterm cover. Loved it. I had all the room in the world. It was fantastic but not practical because it was just too big. So I went in the complete opposite direction and did an A6 Stalogy for 2023. You can see the size difference here is pretty big, but I did an A6 in 2023, and I said, this is too small. It was, it was good, it was actually really good, but I felt like I wanted a little bit more space, so now we're in a B6. Let's give you an idea, the size difference here. Again, this is in a cover, but still, shows you is still, a lot bigger, but not as big as the A5. So my Goldilocks happy medium, just right planner. And can we take a minute? What color is it? Is it pink? Is it orange? Is it purple? Is it green? Is it yellow? Who can tell? This most beautiful notebook cover I got it on Etsy from a shop called Paperbound Creations. I've been carrying this for about a month and a half now and it is fantastic. I love it. I am a forever customer now because this cover is beautiful. If you would like to see how I typically set up my Stalogies and my planners, you can go to my planner playlist where I have setups for all of these. My last video was actually a walkthrough, a flip through of my entire year in the A6. And this video today is gonna to be a walkthrough of my month and a half in B6 Stalogy. So this right here is, is like a, a, a real slick vinyl. And there's a, a elastic band. This is not a traveler's notebook. This is a notebook cover. So you can see my Stalogy fits in here. There are no elastics. In there the only elastic on here is this and it's a little loose which I like because this will get chubby as the years as the year goes on but I'm just gonna walk you through here uh, this also can we just talk about her stitching is it gonna show up look at the rainbow thread I die it's so beautiful she does absolutely beautiful work this is a, a vinyl or a faux leather and it's got this little pocket right here which is pretty shallow uh, this one right here fits this ruler i've had this ruler in my planner for years i've just got a couple sticker stickers tucked in here and these are some happy planner stickers that i use for tracking things happy planner stickers that's it that they are the absolute best in my opinion and here we are, I, I have not finished this. If you've seen my other videos, I do keep track of my cycle and my um, headaches every single month. And I've been doing that since probably 2018 or 2019, I wanna say. And this was way easier in the B6 than it was in the A6. But I put all of my months here. I also put the full moon because I believe based on previous tracking that the full moon does have something to do with my headaches or I probably have parasites, which is, I think all of us do probably. So anyway, that's a whole nother conversation. But here I have the 2024 at a glance. Always do that in pencil and just a blank page here. And the way I set up my Stalogies is that I always have all of the months together. Let me zoom in a tiny bit for you. I put all my months together and I draw them in. So I do one month and kind of figure out the measurements. I have all of my months together, just like Hobonichi does. So, and I just do minimal decoration. It's a little bit of decoration here and there, just has to do with the, the season. And again, these are all Happy Planner stickers. So fun. 
But you'll see during my weekly planning, I don't do much decoration at all because y'all, my goal is just to get it down. Just to get it down basically. And after I always finish the months, I always leave a page or two blank for any dates that I need to keep track of. Like toward the end of the year, I'm gonna be making doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, whatever. There's gonna be spring semester of 2025 dates that I'm gonna to wanna to have, but I won't have that planner ready. So any future dates go in here. And let's go into the weeks. This is, I can zoom out now because this planner's bigger. Uh, this is just what a typical week looks like. I have all of my, my days here and then I have my tracker down here that I'll talk about in a second. But I, ha I start with Monday and I have the, the date kind of light there. This is mostly the extent of my color and my weekly planning, but I have where we're going, what we're doing, like our schedule here, and then I have all my to-dos here. And this right here is my habit tracker. I've kept this since probably 2019, 2018, and I keep track of doing like a load of laundry every day. I keep track of my headaches, my cycle, if I read every day, um, my clean kitchen at night. Look at me with the washi tape. That didn't last long. But yeah, so this is what a typical week looks like. And sometimes I throw in different colors here and there. Just, you know, what, what pen I have at hand. I go, I'm going back and forth on pens with this because last year in my A6, I really needed to write a lot smaller. So the the width of my pen mattered a lot more. It doesn't matter as much now. My favorite pen, my absolute favorite pen for this Toma River paper is the Uniball Jetstream, which I do carry sometimes. I mean, look, <laughs> it's a mess. It is a mess. Oh gracious. But that's, that's what it looks like. And this is this week's and I have been so busy. I've, I didn't walk on the treadmill last night. Oh well, but sometimes I'll draw out my weeks ahead of time. Most of the time I don't, but it just kind of depends on what's going on. But at the end of all of my weeks, I usually have a couple of other cushion weeks in case you know something happens to the paper, I don't know, whatever. And I always start with a Fly Lady control journal. If I want to jump back into Fly Lady at any time, I've got everything written down here. I've got my zones. This isn't necessarily how she recommends it. I do make some uh, changes, some tweaks here and there to make it work for me in my house and my schedule. There you see that. And this is gonna be, you'll see very similar to last year and the year before the setup. Here I've got my wish list here, a couple of stickers. This is our Taekwondo schedule. This is my TBR for the, for the year. And I'm probably going to fill that up a lot more. I have read one book. I finished one book <laughs> this year so far, but I'm almost finished with about three more. So, you know, that'll, that'll fill in pretty soon. This is my book tracker for the year. I talked about this in my last video. I have a pretty bad reaction to monosodium glutamate, MSG. And when I go to restaurants, if there are sauces, dressings, and things like that, I wanna know if there's MSG or not, so I write it here. Gals, this is a great thing to have in your planner or even just on a slip of paper in your wallet. Write down what makeup you use, what shade you use, so when you go to the store to get more, you don't have to guess, oh, what shade was that? Was it 401 or 403? I don't remember. This is here, especially for things like foundation and concealer when the difference between one shade and another doesn't look big, but once you get it on your skin, you know there is a big difference. So write it down. This is my online order tracker. This is all, I've been walking on my treadmill a little bit more lately, just it's winter and it's just easy to do, so I was just writing that down. Uh, my goal is 100 refits this year, and I don't know if we're going to make it, but I've had nine so far. <laughs> we're in the middle of February, so that's good. I have had no rev and flows, so we'll see. And these stickers that you saw right here, that's what I put on these little blanks here. TV shows and movies that I want to watch. 
some of these are from last year's planner and I put them in this year because I still haven't watched them. And these are the movies that I've watched this year so far. And this is one of my favorite sections of my book and it's called So Fun and it's my sewing tracker. And every time I sew something, I write it down. Even if it's a little thing, I write it down and it's really fun to look back on the year and see what I've made. So I actually set aside three pages for that. So we'll see. These are sewing patterns that I'd like to try. I am a refit instructor and these are some of the songs that I'd like to learn. These are the songs that I'd like to bring back that I haven't done in a while, just as a reminder. So when I'm thinking, hey, I really like that song, write it down. This is a supplement tracker, I have not started on that. These are my food allergies. It's fun to be me. <sighs> These are custom sewing orders and some craft shows that I'm hoping to get into this year. And then because it's getting a little out of hand, these are all of the sewing patterns that I own that I can think of. And uh, yeah, look at all of these patterns. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Now, that being said, there are a lot of these patterns that were free. Look at all the highlighted and blue ones. Those are made for mermaids that were free. That's, that's pretty good. Um, and a lot of this going forward, it's gonna be a lot of, goodness gracious, I can't turn the pages. It's gonna be a whole lot of meal plans, grocery lists, sermon notes, and uh, playlists for refit. Uh, these are hours for a place where Brayden likes to go. There's some dry mix recipes. I made some like pancake mix, muffin mix, stuff like that. Here's a little bit of, let's zoom in a little bit, some homeschool planning that I was doing, sermon notes, grocery lists, sermon notes, grocery lists, some more sermon notes and homeschool plans, things like that. <laughs> and so yeah, that's mostly what is in here and then I have the rest of these blank pages. Now you may notice something, if you're familiar with Stylogy, I actually have it upside down and this was done accidentally in 2022. This is how I have it with this grid. It's supposed to be like this. Let me go to this page so you can see if it's gonna focus. What you're supposed to do, because there are 365 pages in here, what you're supposed to do is circle the month and then the day and you're supposed to have a whole page for a day but I don't like all this space on the top. So I just put the space at the bottom. That would probably bother a lot of people, doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, that's what works for me. And I will probably not use all the pages in here. It doesn't look like a lot, but these pages are so thin that it really is. In the back here, I just have some post-it notes and a sticker stuck in there. And I did pay a little extra, I think $2 extra to get a pen loop in here because I need a pen loop. And that is my planner for the year. What I usually do is carry this in my bag and if I'm in my big tote bag, I carry all my pens and highlighters and stuff in this bag. This is a handmade color block wristlet from Kdil Handmade, I believe. And I do have these in my Etsy shop. You know what, they might be out of stock at the moment. I'm gonna have to check, but I will link my Etsy shop down below. These make a great gift. I actually don't make them like this anymore. Uh, I make a, a different kind of loop and I or a different kind of wristlet and I attach it to this little donut here so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video today you know it's pretty cut and dry not super detailed but this is my life in a book and I've got to go so I got to go throw this in my bag right now so I can get to the rest of my day if you enjoyed this video be sure to give me a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new here and you'd like to see more. Let me know in the comment section what you are using for planning this year. And uh, are you a digital girl? Are you a paper and pen kind of girl? Let me know. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.